Nativity scenes are a mainstay of Christmas decor and starting today, the Franciscan Monastery in Northeast DC is displaying them from all around the world. They're all part of a local couple's personal collection and from Africa to Alaska, there are some pretty interesting takes on these nativity scenes. News 4's Derek Ward gives us a look. There are more than 150 of the nativity scenes or creches from the collection of Roger and Marguerite Sullivan on display at the Franciscan Monastery in Northeast. They amassed them over their 40 years traveling and working abroad. She was with the State Department and he was with the World Bank. And the thing that's so nice is that almost every culture you can find a nativity. And often the nativities really speak to that culture. There's a crash from South Africa, where instead of an ox and ass, there's a zebra and a rhino. The Alaskan version features Inuit figures and parkers, where a walrus and a husky are among the animals surrounding the manger. Following this Sunday's Mass, there was a blessing of all of the creches, commemorating 800 years since St. Francis of Assisi arranged the first nativity scene, enlisting live figures, people and animals, arranged in a candlelit cave in the mountains of Greccio in Italy. And that was the desire of St. Francis, that we remember how well it all started. Some of the depictions are updated, even whimsical, like this one from Mexico that has the baby Jesus riding shotgun in a car with the three kings in the back seat. And they don't always steer clear of controversy. A contemporary crash depicts the three kings as Amazon delivery men on segways. And Joseph has a man bun. It's not here this year. The story is not an old ancient story. It's a current story, very much alive today. However, but, but we decided to keep it at our house. We liked it. Because yeah, our children. We got some pushback. <laughs> there's the one crash that's small enough to fit into a spoon. And then there's this large, unwieldy one the Sullivans got from Lithuania. We had to actually buy a new airplane ticket because the airplane and a ticket we had a suitcase to take it and bring it back. This one from the Galapagos Islands has polished cow horns representing the nativity figures. And it's said that an actual baby miraculously appeared in that first nativity scene 800 years ago, and that even the hay had healing powers. The miracle here, a little more pedestrian, but just as important. I mean, what, what I found here in Washington is people come looking for their country, and because it, it, that's very special to them. But then they look at the other nations in the world that are here, and that also speaks to them. Even a country like Tajikistan, where the Christian population is only about one and a half percent of the over nine million people living there, is represented here. And therein lies the immeasurable value of this display. But it's the same story yeah. told in so many different ways. That story is being told through this exhibit through January 7th. In Northeast, Derek Ward, News 4.